Yo, what is up there guys, Ed the Wiz back at it again for another video and this time we are taking an up close look at my newest figure, Revolt Tech or Revel Tech Stitch. And what we're going to be doing is checking out, the, checking out the articulation, the figure itself, up close look, all that great stuff right here, right now. So let's just get right to it and we'll start off by giving him a little 360 degree spin, get a good look at Stitch. Now overall guys, I gotta say right from the bat, this figure is absolutely amazing. If you like Disney, if you are a Stitch fan, this is an absolute must-have. So, all right, let's go ahead and check out the figure. So, the ears are on a, a ball joints right over here. So, there's a couple things you could do with it. You can bring it all the way around, bring those ears down, so you kind of give him that little like sad uh, face to it. Look at him, <laughs> Stitch right over there. It's funny stuff. Uh, up, down, bring it to the side. You got a lot of free movement that you can do with the ears, which I really like. Now, with the arms right over here, you do have just a one uh, crunch right over there, a single joint, not bad, not bad, single joint there, he's got the hair piece, the little chest hair, uh, the only thing that I would say that bothers me about the figure is that when you turn it, you do lose the paint app from there, and you just have that, that gap right over there, which kind of bothers me a little bit, but not too much, from a distance it doesn't look too bad, but when you look at it up close, it does look a little bit weird to me and the foot can move about that far up and down it's meant to uh because you can put this figure this way so it looks like you know he's um standing on all fours right over there crawling and stuff you know because that's something that stitch does right over there and i like how they did that so next key feature since i just did that i should probably point out is the mouth the mouth is probably the highlight of stitch of this figure so as you see if you pop it out uh first of all it can open pretty wide range right over there i like it and then if you move this part up a little bit and then just gently bring the teeth down with it you have another facial expression right over here it looks like stitch has his mouth open uh you know when he's a little bit more crazy can you help me <laughs> you know from right from the movie so i like that there we go uh, let's see, what else? The head is on a ball joint, so you can kind of move it a little bit, a little bit left and right. I'm not sure if you can move it all the way back, but I'm not going to dare uh, mess, screw with the figure by trying that out right over here. The hands can easily pop out, and there's a reason for that that I will show you momentarily. Now we got the back over here, got some nice uh, paint details. It, it's your basic stitch figure, but it's got a lot of range and movements that you can do with it. So now let's check out the accessories. Now stitch comes with his little spine back right over here, uh, So that you, and there's a little hole right over here, so you just easily plug that in like so, and you can move it left and right, there you go, nice movement right there. Then we also have his uh, little antenna pieces, so you can just simply slide them right in here, a little bit tricky, but uh, let's see if I can get it, I just got to slide it in carefully, alright, there you go. Now for the next one, up all the way around, slide it in there, and boom, Stitch has his antennas, and it is on a ball joint too, so you do, do have some movement over there, uh, make him look more like his alien form, and he also comes with two sets of arms right over here, uh, originally in the package it came with this arm right over here, but I, I replaced it for these because it, I think it makes a lot more sense to have these hands because they can bend as his main hands compared to these which don't bend. And there's a little peg hole right over here in the side, you can simply just slide, uh, let's see, slide it in there, uh, okay, uh, well, sorry, just one sec, let's see. Slide it in there. Just gotta be a little gentle with it. Don't want to break this stuff. Uh, huh. Okay, so there's one arm right there, and then we have the other one. I'm just gonna slide that in there. A uh, little bit tricky. Okay. There we go. So now you have Stitch in all four, and he looks awesome. 
Uh, that's just one part of his accessories that he comes with, but I really, really like how it looks and how it comes out with the hands. So, Stitch also comes with an alternative face right over here. It's this angry look. All you have to do is simply just pop this out, and then you can put it there. So, Stitch has a mean, angry face on. Uh, I like it. I like it very much. Let me just take out these hands real quick. Uh, don't want to get stuck there. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Ah, things are kind of a pain, actually. Okay. So, he also comes with a snow cone, and I really like the detail on the snow cone. It's a very light, uh, lenticular color to it, and Stitch has a little peg hole right over there, so you can simply pop it on, and boom, there you go. Stitch has his ice cream. Mmm! Right there, very nice, very nice. I like it. And he comes with one other piece of accessory, which is his sunglasses over here. Got some nice shades and all you got to do is simply put them on. You kind of want to make sure it has like a little, like you hear like a little lock thing when you put it in the front of his nose. And there you go. Boom. Stitch. Aloha. <laughs> yeah, Stitch looks pretty cool. Pretty swaggy. When you move the head up, you're just going to have to readjust it right over there. But yeah, man. Stitch living the good life. Aloha. <laughs> So, yeah, boom, there is Stitch right over there. Those are his accessories. That's everything he comes with. Now, let me do a little size comparison in case you're wondering how tall this figure is. Here he is next to the Disney Infinity 3.0 Mickey Mouse figure. So, as you can see, Stitch isn't really that tall. With the antennas, it makes him look a little bit taller, but he's a little on the short side. And here he is next to the Play Arts Kai King Mickey figure of Kingdom Hearts. And I think these two look really, really well together. Oh, how you stitch? Gosh, can I have some ice cream? Oh, no. Man. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Alright, that's just a little fun that I had there, guys. Alright, guys, so there is... This is the figure, Experiment 626, a.k.a. Stitch. Again, this is from Revoltech or Revoltech. God, it's... I'm not sure which way to say it. But that's it for this figure review, guys. Overall, I gotta give this figure a probably a solid 9.5 out of 10. It's great. Like I said, if you like Stitch, if you like Disney, this is definitely a must-have. The only thing that I will complain about that I really, really wish that it had was... a few blasters i mean everything else is cool and everything but if it had a blaster or two that would have made the figure even better i should probably also mention i forgot there is some movement that you can do with a tongue but it's nothing too crazy that i would really even look at or worry about so guys i want to know what do you think of the figure do you think you might be picking it up leave all your comments below and until next time guys i'll catch you later so peace out bye